everyone. I'm Mrs. Bearden. I'm a librarian for St. Tammany Parish Schools. Sometimes I like to read books to learn about things and I found a wonderful book where I learned a lot of things. It's called Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. Now right here in the title there's a clue that tells you this is a nonfiction book. That's right, the true story. Even though it looks like a small children's book, it's an everybody book, but there's so much to learn in this story. So think about what you know about sharks, right? Lots of people are scared of sharks. They're afraid of them. Well, in this story, you're going to meet a woman who wasn't afraid of sharks at all. I want you to imagine swimming in a cave with sharks and catching them on hooks to study their behavior, that's exactly what Eugenie Clark did. Now, before we begin reading, I have something very special to share with you. My niece, Dr. Tricia Meredith, is also a shark scientist in Florida, and I asked her if she would make a brief video to talk to you a little bit about sharks, and she has. So, without further ado, here is Dr. Tricia Meredith and her son, Wyatt, talking about sharks. Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Tricia Meredith, and I'm a shark scientist. This is my son, Wyatt. He's in first grade. You want to say hi? Hi. We love sharks. Um, I have loved the ocean ever since I was a little kid. I always thought all the cool creatures that live there are really neat, and sharks in particular are so fascinating. So I study sharks. I work at Florida Atlantic University down here in um, Boca Raton, Florida, and why it goes to school on that campus too, right? Yeah. And um, one of the coolest things I know about sharks is about their cool senses. So we have five senses. See if we can remember them. <laughs> our sense of sight, our sense of smell, our sense of taste, touch, and hearing. That's five, right? <laughs> I think that's fun. Sharks have all of those senses plus two more, which is really cool. So they have all those senses. They have a nose just like us, which a lot of people don't know. The neat part about the sense of smell of sharks, especially hammerheads, is that their nostrils aren't close together. On a hammerhead shark, their head is very wide and their nostrils are way far apart, which is really neat. They are very sensitive to odors. They're only interested in odors that are related to their food. We are not their food. So they like fish smelling odors and crabs and stuff like that. And they're about as sensitive to odors as other fish in the ocean. Um, they have, like I said, two extra senses. Those are called lateral line and electroreception. So they're able to feel the movement of the water against their body with their lateral line system. And they're able to pick up on invisible electric fields in the water. And anything that's alive in the water is gonna make that electric field. We're giving off an electric field now, actually. Um, and they can detect that, which is so cool. I wish we had those senses, don't you? Yeah. I'd be like superhero senses, like a shark. So those are some of my favorite shark facts. Um, Wyatt, do you want to tell your favorite shark pack? Okay, so this is the book we're going to be reading. So Eugenie Clark, um, she when she was a little girl, she taught them to do a trick. And two weeks later, she um, did the symbol for them to do the trick, and they remembered it. So what does that show? Um, sharks have memory. Yeah, so... You're gonna be reading about Eugenie Clark, who is a famous shark scientist. She's one of the um, first, you know, really well-known female shark scientists. And she did this experiment that Wyatt's talking about that shows that sharks have really good memory, which is really cool too. Um, I actually got to meet Eugenie Clark. Isn't that neat? Yeah, you sent me a picture of her one. That's right. So, I go to a meeting every year, just like probably some of your parents do, where all the shark scientists in the whole United States get together and we talk about the latest and greatest new research in shark science. And I met her there. I got to see her at, I think, three different meetings. And um, I took a picture with her. I gave her a hug. 
I told him thank you for all the important work that she did and she was so nice. So I hope you enjoy reading the book and if you have any more questions about shark science, um, your librarian will teach you how to get in contact with us. Okay, bye. bye. Well, that was wonderful information. I loved hearing Dr. Meredith talk about the shark senses, that they have seven of them, and I loved meeting Wyatt. Thank you for sharing that with us, Dr. Meredith. And now for our story, Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. This book is written by Jess Keating and the illustrations are by Marta Alvarez McGuenz. It was Saturday and Eugenie wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. She wanted to smell the damp salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fish. She wanted to keep watching her favorite animals, the sharks. Eugenie pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea. What would it be like to swim with her sharks? To breathe underwater with gills of her own? More than anything, she wanted to find out. When the summer came, Eugenie's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. Sticking sticky gum into her ears to keep the water out, Eugenie dove down, down, down. The salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellations of sea stars speckled the pebbled sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean current. So Eugenie was pretending that she was the shark. To others, sharks were ugly and scary, but Eugenie knew they were beautiful. As she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone could see sharks through her eyes. But the sharks were only in her mind for now. Eugenie decided to learn everything she could about them. So she dove. This time into books. Whale sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks. Eugenie wanted to know about them all. She also joined the Queens County Aquarium Society as its youngest member. Eugenie's notebooks filled with sharks. They swam in her daydreams and on the margins of her pages. At home, Eugenie's mother surprised her with an aquarium of her own. A 15 gallon tank was much too small for sharks, but Eugenie saved her allowance to buy guppies clownfish, and coral red snails. It felt as big as an ocean in her room. Their small apartment became an aquarium, a laboratory, and a sanctuary. As she grew older, many were still telling Eugenie what to do. Forget those sharks. Be a secretary. Be a housewife. Eugenie wanted to study zoology but some of her professors thought women weren't smart enough to be scientists or brave enough to explore the oceans. And they said sharks were mindless monsters. Eugenie knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark. So again, Eugenie dove. She plunged into every course she could. Her laboratory became her home. From sunrise to sunset, she studied how fish grow, how they behave, and how they were put together both inside and out. Despite all of the people who didn't believe in her, Eugenie was becoming one of the smartest students in her field. Even after she earned her degree, many still doubted her. But Eugenie's work was just beginning. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugenie finally dove into the open ocean. In the Red Sea, Eugenie collected hundreds of fish, including three new species that had not been discovered before. The Red Sea Sand Diver, 
Bardzenia pipefish, and Volcano triple fin. On a research mission exploring the Palau Islands, Eugenie was diving alone when she encountered her first ever wild shark. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. Now, I knew before we even got to this page that she wouldn't be afraid. Do you know how? Right. On the cover, it said, The Ocean's Most Fearless Scientist. Fearless means without fear. She wasn't afraid. In Isla Mujeres, she dispelled the myth that sharks must keep moving to stay alive when she swam through dark caves still and silent, full of resting sharks. Eugenie's daring heart grew bolder with each dive. Soon they began to call her shark lady. Eugenie had proven she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the oceans. As her courage grew, she began to love and understand her beloved sharks more and more. But she never forgot many still believed that sharks were mindless killers. Because of their scary reputation, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. Eugenie knew that sharks weren't stupid or mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugenie fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person trains a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? They were. Eugenie was the first scientist in the world to train sharks and even learned they could remember their training for at least two months after. Remember Wyatt in our video? This is the experiment he was talking about, that sharks had memory. In this one, it said they could remember it for up to two months. Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful and sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugenie's dream was now a dream come true. That's the end of our story. When you turn the page, you see there's something called shark bites. This is where the author shares some interesting facts about sharks that Eugenie shared with us. And this one, No Toothbrush Here, shares a really interesting story. So if you check out this book, you will love to read the interesting facts they have in Shark Bites. And on the next page, they have this beautiful timeline of Eugenie Clark's life from the time she was born in 1922 through growing up and having an interest in sea life, as well as going to school and then her studies. And finally, at her death in 2015, she lived a long, beautiful life. And on the end, there is an author's note. And in the author's note, there's something I want to read to you. It says, nicknamed the Shark Lady, Eugenie passed away at age 92 on February 25th, 2015, but her legacy lives on. The Moat Marine Laboratory, for which Eugenie acted as chair for scientific research, still exists. It's a place where young scientists can explore the oceans and discover Eugenie's sharks and just maybe find some of their own. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can go to their website. It's moat.org, M-O-T-E dot O-R-G, or you can read some of Eugenie Clark's books. I spent a lot of time at Moat Marine Lab, and it's a beautiful place. In this book, we learned a lot about sharks, but more importantly, we learned a lot about Eugenie Clark, this fabulous woman who had a lot of perseverance and kept doing what she believed in. Even though people told her that sharks weren't study worth studying, that they were mindless creatures, and that because she was a girl, she shouldn't be a scientist. I am so glad Eugenie Clark did the research that she did 
and the wonderful findings that she had. And thanks to her, I learned a lot about sharks, and I hope you did too. Now, for an activity, if you would please draw a picture or write a paragraph about an animal that you would like to study. It doesn't have to be in the ocean. It could be any animal. If there is something that you want to study, then draw a picture or write a paragraph about it and share it with us. We would love to hear about the things that you dream of doing when you grow up. And thank you for coming to Storytime. Remember, keep learning and keep reading. And now a message from my puppy, Burrow. Burrow says, keep learning and keep reading. Right, Burrow? <laughs>